bands, so, but that's another thing. They're expensive and they end up. Mm. Shannon and Guy Jewelry. Yeah, that's Shannon right. and Guy Jewelry. Hey, we're trying something new. We don't always have jewelry. We, very right. rarely do we get to do jewelry. All um, right. Well, this is a very special occasion because not only we have jewelry, we have beautiful Sevilla silver, so which pretty. is unbelievable. The, it the, is. The, this, this is one of the best today's specials I've seen from this company ever. Absolutely. It is so beautiful. You get so much bang for the buck. And look at how that drapes. It is gorgeous. It's our twisted rope chain bracelet. $50 off. 50 bucks yeah. off today. So if you want to reward yourself for being so good to everybody else for the holidays, mm -hmm. now's the time to do it, right, Miss Shannon? I think so. Yeah. It's got a great little senor, well, big, giant, senora clasp, cool. which makes it easy to, to put on yourself, but also kind of adds that little decorative. extra. Decorative. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This really is nice. just 360 degrees of beauty. Beautiful with that the the end caps as well. Yeah. Genuine sterling silver. So $79.90. If you've ever shopped sterling silver, if you've gone to that blue box store where mm -hmm. you really are paying a couple of yeah, hundred extra dollars that, just for the box. That would be five hundred dollars in the blue box store easily. Yeah. So it is uh yeah. so pretty. We've it got really it on flex great. too. Yeah. So for under sixteen dollars, you can get it home. If you got an HSN card, you can get it for um, an extra flex, and it's brand new. We haven't seen it from Sevilla Silver before. Yeah. These are actually crafted in Turkey. Yeah, and braided, and you see how they do it. it. It gives it that amazing look. And you know what I love about it too, though, is that you have a lot, a lot of look, but it's not heavy, bangly, clanky. It's, no, it's really so soft. soft. When you wear mm, it, it's this. really soft and smooth on. It feels so uh, so liquid-like. And normally when you see a chunky bracelet like that, you think, well, it's gonna be clanky. It's gonna catch on everything. It's very smooth. It's butter smooth in your hands. And look at how, yeah, Ooh, see, that's how well right? made. That's why mm. they send it to Turkey. They know how to make that, you know, they, do they the just wave. They, they, do they do the wave there. better yep. than anybody in Turkey. They do. But seriously, <laughs> though, it's so lightweight. In fact, Kelly Deering, who's going to be on a little bit later, yeah. I'm going to out her right now. She we was, just kicked her off I've the set. I've got to see it. Well, she had to come <coughs> see it in person. She picked it up and she said, it's so light. It's really sterling silver. It absolutely is, which you yeah. can tell and you can feel. But they made it intentionally light, even though it's so much silver all yeah. woven together. Looks like it's braided and woven. It's so beautiful beautiful it's got so much sparkle for a kind of a basic piece like I think of my silver yeah. as good basic pieces but this has so much big look for the price especially yeah. really incredible three sizes yeah I, and I love um, how it looks because it almost has like this this it's not a satiny finish but it's, it's something about it that gives it, it gives it a lot of depth and a mm -hmm. lot of a lot of, of dimension and by the way too this this piece you wear all year long. You wear this any season. It's so great. It's winter white now. You know, it's so cold everywhere. Uh, it's kind of like an icicle, but it's but it's so beautiful and yeah. sparkly and all that. And then as we get into spring and summer, it'll look great against your skin. You know, if you're at the beach and you get off and you just want to wear something real pretty with a little right. simple pop of of, uh, of that beautiful uh, sort of shine, you have it there. Seventy nine ninety. That price is going to go up fifty dollars at midnight. Thirteen hundred people have already picked it up. We mm. have four thousand left. That's, That's not a it. lot. Is really we have different Especially sizes. All the different sizes. Yeah. yeah. So three different sizes: size six and a half, seven and a quarter, or eight inch. So um, really easy to be able to get those different sizes. And we do have coordinating pieces <clears throat> to go with it as well. Oh, I'm getting a little frog in my throat. <laughs> of course, right. This guy was about to go eat some clam chowder. He's like, I want to go eat some clam chowder. We've got a great <laughs> kitchen hour coming up. Oh my up. gosh. Yeah. Um, yeah thank it's you. hard to focus. <laughs> wow. You, you should be lucky I'm even here because Legal Seafood is here with their clam chowder. <laughs> and I have been talking about it all morning. You were with the clam chowder like Kelly was with the jewelry like the women were like oh, I know we want to line up and be able to see it yeah. and try it on and feel it and you were like that with the food you were like oh there, okay. I gotta go oh by the way right, I do have to go, go because they're the chowder is cooking it's calling you all right is what it's I gotta doing. go all I'll right. be back so you've got delicious chowder yeah. we also have some great um really low fat chips as well guy there's ghost guy right in front of the camera he doesn't know about tv very well he's um he's new at this there he is He's new. He's what we call a novice um, at this, but that's all right. You know, we like to take trainees here at HSN on HSN Today. <laughs> okay, um, here's, here are the coordinating pieces, like I promised you. I think I may be safely out of the room. Um, this is uh, only, only 40 left in the necklace. Holy cow, already, look at this. Three different layers of rope, all on one Sonora clasp. So you have that great layered look 
with just one clasp. Easy to clasp as well. Great necklace. This is the, um, this is the, which one? Pendant and chain. And then look at these great little earrings. These are gorgeous as well. Okay, so there's the pendant, the pendant and chain here. Wait, the pendant and the chain are $39? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's see here. I got so excited about the, um, okay, the pendant itself. Oh, it's a rope chain pendant. That makes sense. So it's not the chain, it's actually a pendant made of rope chain. That makes sense for you. Um, $39.90 just for that beautiful pendant. And uh, it has a really nice bail as well. That's just a little easy one to slide on. We do have several chains <laughs> from Sevilla Silver for you to be able to place that on, but a great one to be able to continue with that beautiful look from the Today Special. And then here are the earrings, and I want you to see there's a, they're a great dangle, but look at that, they are literally that liquid silver chain. So they give you so much sparkle and movement, and they are so lightweight. If you love a, a, a big earring, but you just can't handle the weight anymore on your lobes, this is going to be your favorite earring because it's so lightweight. It really has that look of white gold in the sterling silver, $24.90, and check out that flex. Honestly, it's under $5 to get those beautiful earrings home. We want you to be able to drench yourself in gorgeous beauty today. Um, beautiful silver from Sevilla Silver and, um, and guaranteed that point, um, point 0.925 silver. So it's strong, it's beautiful, and you get it on flex. If you want to get $10 off of that today's special, it will be $69, a crazy deal, honestly. Apply for an HSN card, and you will get $10 off of your very first purchase with uh, with your approval. You can do that online or on the phone as well. All right, Guy finally gets to eat. Um, he's got a great kitchen hour for us. Hey, Guy. Hey, Shannon. Yes, I do finally get to eat. We're really excited. We've got a great lineup for you today. All kinds of great stuff coming in. We have legal seafood coming up in just a bit. We're really pumped up about that. Um, a lot of you are trying to get healthy for the new year, and one of the ways you can do that is by kind of prepping your own fruits and vegetables and things like that, um, eating more naturally. Uh, we've got a way that not only can you do that, but you can prep your food um, in a more natural way without having to plug anything. It's a company called Xylus, and I've had a Xylus cheese grater forever. Love this company. They make things uh, so well. This is their easy pull manual food processor. This thing is crazy. I love this item, and I know you do too. It always is a customer pick on hsn.com. Uh, it's got uh, just a manual operation. You just pull this little cord, and it just chops and chops and chops. It's a two-cup design, so you can prep all your favorite items. There's no batteries to put in. You have nothing to plug in. It's great for travel. We get campers that use this that still want to chop their, uh, you know, their veggies before they cook out on their grill. Uh, it's great for the boat, an RV, wherever. No uh, plug. No, no plug, plug whatsoever. Kelly Diedring is here. Hi. This is one of those ones you have to see yes. to believe because, and by the way, we dropped the price. It was $29.95. I think this is the lowest price it's ever. It's the lowest price we've ever done on it. If you don't like the big, you know, crazy clunky noise of a food processor, watch what she's going to well, do. Well, okay, so cool. you're going to slice some garlic, and I'm going to slice some garlic. Are you going to make me garlic. touch garlic? Yes, I'm because not you get it, it all, with my fingers. You it's get too the early. scent all over your hands, or maybe it's an onion, or you don't have to get out a food processor or even an electric chopper. Ready? Okay, so guy's going to do his thing. I'm going to do my thing. Of the blade. Ready? Are you still chopping, my you're friend? All right. Pants. So if you like it thick, you can stop in this position. If you want it minced, guess what? A couple more pulls, and now I literally have fresh minced garlic. Look at and, yours and look at mine. I know. And that's the thing, though. And you just used one hand because you didn't want to smell like garlic all day. I can't smell day. like garlic all day. And I think that that's really important. So if you're sick look and tired at, of getting out the big clunky food processors that you have to plug in and then you have 20 different pieces that you have to dishwash, all you have to do with this is rinse it underneath wow. the, uh, the sink. And now I have fresh minced garlic. So rather than purchasing the stuff in the mystery liquid, you know, right. the garlic in the mystery liquid, yeah, yeah, no. that's not fresh, go ahead and mince your garlic in here but this isn't just for garlic, obviously. We're gonna do all kinds of prep work and it's a food processor. We're gonna make yeah. salsas and guacamoles and an egg salad and a ham salad. It's so, so much fun, I love this It's manual thing. in that you're not plugging it in, but it's super right. easy to use. Right. So these are our onions, right? So rather than getting out, again, a, cho a chopping and board. And, and, and messing up your cutting board and making it stink like onions too. Look, Look at, at Now, what? you have complete control. So I can give it like a coarse chop 
Okay, so there would be like a coarse chop maybe of a stir fry you're doing. Yeah. Or you want it for a soup, or you want like a really, really fine mince. I would give it two or three more pulls, and now I have a fine mince. Is that cool? You know, it's funny, as all of our wonderful kitchen folks are staring at me right now, and I know even you guys, you gotta admit, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And these guys are all really good with knives. Why? Why <laughs> but when you look at, they, and they know because as good as they are with yeah. knives, and, and I'm pretty good with a knife too, yeah. you would never be able to get that kind of result that quickly, no, right? You never. never would. No, absolutely not. What? Now, Those even carrots? something like carrots that are so hard what? to chop, if you want a coarse chop, you could have stopped right here, That's right? So okay, cool. or you could have stopped two or three pulls ago. Right. If you want a fine mint, and it's not like I'm a big clunky bodybuilder. I don't have these no, bulging biceps like you do, guy. Well, you know. But it's easy to use That's all you amazing. do is give it a tug the machine does and, all the work for at, you you have to look at this consistency I mean guys. seriously look at that I mean if you are making soups and things like that where you you know you don't want a big big chunky carrots yep. or if you're making sauces um, or if you're doing like a bolognese is there anything harder than prepping the vegetables for bolognese sauce it's a pain in the neck because you got to chop everything so dang fine this gets it as fine as you need without ever having to use an electric processor Even things that look are at stringy celery. and typically very very difficult to yeah. food process this would gunk up a food processor oftentimes totally. Yep. It's not going to happen with Xylus, and you have complete control. So, one thing to clean, too. Look one, how simple. And this is all dishwasher safe. I want you to just rinse the lid. Okay, so don't throw that in the dishwasher. But the blade and the actual, you know, cup are dishwasher safe. Yeah. So all you have to do is either rinse them clean or throw them in your dishwasher. So these are already almost half gone, and they're going to sell out. So if you want one of these, and I know you do, uh, grab it now. Um, we have them. They're available in the red color. That's all we have. But it's, is that the only color it came in? It's the only color it comes in. Well, then that's all I have left. That's all you got. All I got. <laughs> got left is red. And look at the peppers. So if you want to start the week with a mirepoix, you're going to do soups or stews oh, all week. Fancy. Or if you want to be doing beautiful salads right. where you have all these fresh vegetables that you haven't had. You know what kills me? You go to the grocery store and they have them chopped for you and they yeah. charge you like a 400% markup right. for chopping them well, for you. And, and things like peppers. And we often buy those. Peppers are really hard to cut look because peppers have, you know, kind of a tough skin on the outside. How beautiful. So you try to flip them over, but it's really hard to get them in a uniform dice. Yep. This does that very, very easily and you never have to touch uh, you know, your fingers to anything. You just pop them in yep. and you're good to go. And I'm the cleanup is so mess, easy too. Because you made a big mess trying to chop your own garlic. Yeah, if you're sick and tired of getting at the cutting board, maybe you're not so good with a knife. Maybe you don't have a great set of knives. This is the easiest way to chop anything, but it's not just for chopping. It's also a food processor. So five ingredients to fresh salsa, my friends. Yeah. Quit buying the jars with all the preservatives and chemicals and added uh -huh. sodiums and added oils. This is just tomatoes, onions, cilantro. And you probably have 20 Salt, cents worth of lime. Right? Yeah, tw maybe. maybe. Maybe 25 cents worth of stuff in Imagine there. Imagine being like at a tailgate, right? And you get this out and you are tailgating and you're making fresh salsa for your friends and family. I mean, can you even imagine that? Or maybe How you're impressed. on a boat or an RV. How impressed would your buddies be oh. if you pull this thing out and you're like, don't worry. Is that cool? I'll make the salsa or I'll make the guacamole. How I'll do it right here in front of that? you. It's brilliant. Fresh All right. salsa. There's nothing in, in the world, in my opinion, that tastes better no, than fresh I know. salsa. It's my favorite. And when you buy it in the jars, they add all kinds of stuff, sure. right? And yeah. we often do that because it's convenient. Well, it There's nothing made, more convenient. It could have been made six months ago. And yeah, you're sitting it, there and you're eating it and you're thinking, well, this has kind of a bleh flavor. And not only that, all the vegetables are soft because they've been sitting in liquid forever. Right. This is the fresh way to do it. And by the way, I love uh, doing uh, guacamole inside here, right? Because guacamole is tough to do too well, by also, hand. Well, also, if you have um, issues with your hands, like dex right. dexterity issues or you have carpal tunnel or any arthritis and you can't hand mash anymore, you're not making guacamole anymore, right, my friends? Right. So here it is. It's just your um, avocado, some cilantro. You can see we've added onions and some lime juice. I love juice. watching you do that. That's and you fun. can do any amount of pulls. Yeah. So if you like it chunky, you can do chunky. If you like right. it creamy like I do, you can do it creamy. That's totally up to you. It's completely customizable. So yeah. look at the, the results that I get with my guacamole. That's a really nice consistency for guac. I in, put a little sour cream in my guac, too. Do you really? Yeah, I I've never heard that. I'm going to try it because I love sour cream. Put a, put a tablespoon or two of sour cream in your guacamole when you mix it, and it'll be even lighter and creamier. I still use sour cream on the side. I hot sauce. I do a little hot sauce in my guacamole. You gotta do the sour cream. I'm okay, telling you, you gotta try it. It's I'm gonna try crazy it. good. But you know, rather than okay, getting out a fork and hand mashing it, right. now you have that beautiful consistency. A lot of people.
people don't like to get out their big clunky food processors. Maybe you own a very expensive food processor, but you are hesitant to get it out because it's yeah. big, it's large, it's cumbersome. It makes 20 cups or right. something. Now this Most makes Most people are, feel that way. It's yeah. like, I don't want to haul well, it out. Or even a blender, you well, know Well, it's what like I mean? if you live alone, like, well, I have Danny, but it's like, right. if, you know, if you're just he's cooking. he's a teenager, so you practically yeah, live alone, right? right? Yeah, but if you have somebody over and you're cooking right. dinner, yep. it's like, I don't need to get a giant food presser. And there's nothing wrong with a big food processor if you've got folks to, to feed. Right. But this is ideal for, you know, this is ideal for somebody like my mom and John, right? right? Oh, they want to make a little fresh salsa, but they don't want to have a giant machine to have to deal with. And minimal cleanup. Now, you just did, did you do a ham salad? This could have been a hard boiled what? egg. That could have Look been chicken it. breast. I mean, whatever you want to do. Look at, Look at the beautiful consistency of the ham salad. Now, you can wow. take this to work with you and make fresh ham salad for, you know, in your cubicle. Like, you don't need an electric outlet. And I think that's what, grab the blade out of there. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. that's what's so important about this is that it is a processor. There you go, my friend. And it's also going to do all your prep work. It's going to cut down on having to get out a knife and a cutting board. I use mine for egg salad quite often. Um, I love egg salad. I get a lot of my protein from eating three or four eggs in my egg salad. And mm -hmm. all I do is throw it in my xylus, give it like three or four pulls. I like it chunky and I'm done. And yep. then I don't have to clean a big food processor that came with 20 different blades no. and 20 different parts and pieces. And I don't have to figure out how to get all the pieces together. Right. This is all I do. I rinse it clean and I walk away. And to me, that makes my life convenient. That is what I, you know, I love about Xylus. You know what I love about it is, it is when I do omelets at, at the house. Because yes. you know what? You know, I've been beating an egg by hands, a pain in the neck. You never sure. seem to get the whole thing sort of in a homogenous mix. Yeah. With this, you can add, you can not only can put the egg in there, you can make the whole dang omelet and, and get it prepped. Yeah, so you can add ch big chunks of cheese. Yeah. You can see we've got three eggs. We have our peppers, onions. Uh, you could put bacon or sausage bits, whatever you want to do. There's a little ball up here. I love it. You sort of just grab a hold at the top and then give it a couple of pulls. And so not only is it, I would add cilantro. I love a little cilantro. But not yeah. only is it beating the egg, it's chopping all the vegetables into the egg so that all you have to do now is take this, pull out the blade and pour it, in it into a pan, pan or yeah. your omelet maker and or whatever it is. And I actually do mine, I, I actually do it for a solid like 90 seconds because it'll, yeah, it'll be lighter and fluffier yeah, you if you get incorporate that beautiful more fluffy air. consistency. Yeah, yeah. All right, so also, um, you know, you may think, okay, this is just good with stuff that's sort of semi-soft, but it also works on nuts. You can do, yeah. I know you've got graham crackers. We're going to put our clock up. We got five minutes on the clock. If you want to get this, I'm telling you, you're going to love it. You're making purees. If you're making sauces. You can sauces. do a beautiful Ooh. puree for your jams or jellies or your compote. For, um, We're just chopping strawberries for sh yogurt. Strawberry shortcake. Oh, beautiful for strawberry yeah, shortcake. Right? Or on top of a sundae, like an yeah. ice cream sundae or in a shake. Yeah, if you want like to make your own. Shake. You know, if you're doing the basis is for jams get and that. jellies and things like that and you want to break it down a little bit, you can do that as well. Uh, do, can we go to the phones? Look at All that. right, we got a caller. We got. We're gonna go to the beautiful state of Pennsylvania and say hi to Lynn, That's who's joining us. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Good morning, my dear. Did you just order this, or do you already own it? I just ordered it. What do you think? I hate to cut tomatoes, <laughs> especially plum tomatoes. They're a pain, aren't and they? And this is gonna be great for that. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. You're I gonna know. love and this. I'm, I'm single, so. Good for it's you. It's great for one. Yes. I, I, that's what we were saying. It's like, because, yeah. you know, Lynn, I need, if you watch, you know, it's just me and my son, Danny. It's like, I don't need to make, I mean, on the holidays, maybe I'll pull out the big food yeah, processor, right? Yeah, most of the time you when just want. When mom's coming yeah. over and all my friends and family, but for just you, Lynn, it's like, why, it's, why, yeah, it's why? just me. Yeah, yes. why mess up a bit, the whole kitchen? So I'm so glad you picked it up. Have fun so and well, enjoy you're it. You're going to love it. And you're going to love it for tomatoes. Yeah. It's awesome for tomatoes. Thanks, Lynn. Hey, you're welcome. Have a great day. So you can see we you have nothing. Sorry. Thanks. Bye, Lynn. Bye, Stay Lynn. warm out there. I bet it's cold in Pennsylvania, too. I know. What are you doing well, now? Well, we've got nuts in here. This could be peanuts or cashews or almonds. Yeah. We're just going to take our pistachios. My favorite. Give it however many pulls you want. You have complete control over this. That's what I love about Xylus. You can do a coarse chop or a fine yeah. chop, and then you can... This is just our yogurt, but you can make your own yeah. granola if That's this That's not going to be tasty, is it? Uh, Strawberries, here. pistachios. How about that? And, and a little yeah, bit of Greek yogurt go for you. And, you know, also... If you wanted to, um, you know, do things like a graham cracker crust. Wow. That is that good? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> for your pie it. bases or, oh you know, God. what? totally mm. up to you. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Mm. This is convenience. You don't have, I, I get that there's a food processor and there's a, a place for that in our kitchen. Yeah. But it's not always very convenient. And you could do, I'm gonna add a few more graham cracker crusts or these could be crackers, you know, if you wanna make your own breadcrumbs. Yep. It goes right through everything. Very little effort, you know. I mean, and look, it just pulverizes it at the, you know, with just a couple of pulls. So yep. it makes life easy. It's very convenient. By the way, a little note about the blade. These are Swiss blades. And we're, there's a couple of other choppers like this in the marketplace, but we're different because we give you the bolster blade on top, which pushes the food into the blades. Right. So you're not getting a bunch of stuff that's left unchopped, right? right? And then these are Swift blades. One of ours stays stationary and one of them moves. That gives you a better, finer, coarser chop. Sure. It also gives you complete control over, you know, whether you want a thick chop or a fine yeah. chop, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, and remember, like anything else, you know, if you do have to get in there with a little spatula to kind of turn things a little bit, that's just normal processing stuff. But what I like about this is you Never rarely ever have to do that. Again. And like even if when you're doing things like onions and, yeah. and, and all that stuff, you get a clean chop right from the beginning. Yeah. And, and honestly, all you need to do, you peel your onion, you cut it in half, yeah, cut it in half throw it in. Thirds. Throw yeah. it in. If you want a fine chop or a coarse chop, that is totally your call. You have that blade, which is dishwasher safe. These are Swiss blades, which means they're very, very sharp. Be careful around them, but throw them yeah. in the dishwasher if you would like. You know what I love too? This thing weighs nothing. I mean, I honestly, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a very, the, the cup is very thick, yeah. uh, very thick um, ABS uh, material. Very, very strong, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't weigh, like when you do a food processor, that thing yeah. weighs about 25 pounds. Well, and it comes with 15 parts and pieces. Yeah, like no. nobody stores a full food processor no. fully assembled anywhere, because they're big, right? So you have to take apart 20 pieces. I use, my, I use mine twice a year, maybe. I know. And I love and it, don't I get me wrong. I don't even have a big food processor, because I, I would I never use it. This, I would guarantee you probably use four or five days a week. Oh, I use mine almost every day. Yeah, like I, I said, say. I do a lot of egg salads, chop up my eggs yeah. for my three-year-old. This we do a lot at my house, because we're trying to avoid carbs, and so we do a cauliflower crust pizza, which is to die for, and we rice our cauliflower inside here. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a big thing, too. If you, you go to the grocery store... You know, it's funny. You making fun of my cauliflower? No, because I had it last night for it's, dinner. It's so but good. you know what I did? It's so and, I'm, good. and I'm a bad person, I'll admit it. I bought it in the bag. Right, you did. Because they sell it yes, now. they sell they it They sell rice. it now, and it looks exactly like that. But it's like a 400% markup. Yeah, but, but it's so good for you. And I'll it tell is. you something. I, I made it last night. What I do is I, I put a little light spray in the pan because I'm trying to cut out uh, the calorie stuff. Right? right. You toast it in the pan. Okay. You add a cup of, of green peas. Right. And Parmesan cheese. I've never heard of the green peas. Freaking For, awesome. What does the green pea green, do? Just, just baby peas. Just okay. put them in there. Got it. Okay. And it just gives it another, it gives it a little right. more consistency. And right. I'm telling you, you would not know you're not eating a grain. It tastes, it, it tastes like you're eating a, like a, you know, rice product. Right. And this is Amazing. the thing. If you go to the grocery store, especially the health food stores, they sell it rice. They sell it frozen rice and they sell it fresh rice. And it's like, I did the math one time, at least at my grocery store, it was a markup by 400%. So it was like $12 and I could have gotten a cauliflower, which I could have yeah. made like four batches of for $2. So, and, and it's the convenience that they're selling yeah. to you. And there's to me nothing look more at, convenient than just grabbing look, this. Look at know. everything you've done. So we just, look at all yep. the prep we did. We've done peppers, we did cauliflower, we did onions, we did ham salad, we did an Nuts, omelet, yep. salsas, guacamole. Uh, over salsa here, we did, look at all this other prep that we yeah. did. We did that all in like, 10 minutes. I want to eat that's, that's all that took us. So if you yeah. want to be able to get this at home mm. and be able to take advantage mm, of easy good. prep work, this is the way to do it. Kelly, you're awesome. Thanks, honey. When are you coming back? When, uh, noon. When I'll be back gonna, at noon and one. When are you going to buy the Today's Special? I think it's already in my shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> I have to figure out my size and then uh, it's mine. Oh, <laughs> you're funny. It'll look beautiful on it's you. It's very pretty. All right. Thank you so much, Kelly. Hey, coming up a little bit later in the show, we have our origami uh, four-drawer kitchen cart. This is one of my favorite items we, we've ever had. This is the one that I own. I love it. Uh, it's a great way to not only store all your stuff, but you can prep on it because it's got the little butcher block on top. The price is the lowest price we've had on it uh, in a long, long time at $109.95. It's on FlexPay $21.99. We, all the colors are back as well. So we've got that available. That's coming up towards the end of the show. If you want to go ahead and grab it, grab it right now and take advantage of that free shipping and handling. All right, we are going to move on. Oh my gosh, let me tell you what's coming up next. Uh, it's a co little company called Legal Seafood. And I'm not talking about a little company. I'm talking about the company when it comes to delicious seafood across the country. Uh, they are located up in Boston. This company has been around since 1950. Uh, they create the most amazing uh, seafood dishes and chowders and bisques and things like that. And before uh, you get to meet uh, Roger Berkowitz, who is the president and CEO, family-run business, let me tell you just the kind of uh, accolade 
accolades and awards this company has. They have been voted the number one best seafood restaurant in USA Today, nationwide, 2013. Best new restaurants, uh, Esquire Magazine, 2011. A thousand places to see before you die, which I saw on TV. It's an amazing thing. Uh, they have served clam chowder at every presidential inauguration since 1981. And the stuff is amazing. This is five-star restaurant food. Roger, good to see you finally. Good and to meet see you. you. Too, I have been Thank eating you. your product for many, many years. You know, I grew up, I was a restaurant guy for 20 years. I know that. And when we would talk about this guy in the restaurant, you'd be like, that's when you've gotten to the top. That's where you're as good as you are. But you do it with a lot of hard work, Thanks. incredible product. And, and let me tell everybody what we're offering today, and then we'll get okay, into your good, story. Good, so, good. so what we have is we've got a two-quart pack of either the lobster bisque, which is to die for, or my favorite clam chowder in the world, which is the uh, legal seafood clam chowder. And I'll tell you why in just a bit. We're going to give you two uh, quart packs, okay? That's about uh, about 10 to 12 servings uh, sure. of, of delicious chowders or bisque. For $56.95, it is $13 off the price. We're going to ship it for free, and it's on FlexPay for $14.24. Okay, I don't even know where to start. All I can tell you is the best soups and chowders I've ever had in my life, and I've worked in five different restaurants, and of course you guys are famous up there in Boston too well, and everywhere you. else. And, and you know, this is the perfect chowder weather. Oh my you know, God, we, so cool. We're down here in Tampa, I got I this morning. 26 degrees. I know, unbelievable. it's unbelievable. I know. We expect that up in Boston. We don't expect that here in Florida. But you know, that brings us to this. This is comfort food. It really is. At, it is. at the basic level, it is comfort food. And I only have 600 orders. Kyle, let me know where, what I'm more uh, low on because I know we have the seafood bisque. Are we also offering that you can get one of each? I think we are. Sure. So two chowder, two lobster bisque, or one lobster bisque and one chowder. I, if you're on the fence, get both. They're amazing. What makes your product so special, Roger? You know, we never, ever compromise in terms of the quality of the product. We're in the fish business, guys, as, yeah. as you mentioned before. And so it's all about sourcing. And so when we put together the ingredients, we do not skimp at all. So it comes to the best clams. You know, it's, it's very funny because I know you do a, a lot with the, in the food business. Yeah. You ever remember a guy named Johnny Apple? Yeah. All right. Well, Johnny Apple was known. He passed away, but he was yeah. one of the best uh, food writers in the world. He yes. came to our soup kitchen when we were making this. And he goes, I just want to take a look around. I want to see what's happening because he, he was a reporter uh, in, in, in his background. He watched us cutting the fish and then he saw the bones go over to where we were making the chowder. He yeah. goes, I get it. I get it. Right. I understand now. He said, <laughs> no one takes 600 pounds of bones from different varieties and reduces it to make that kind of a flavored stock. And that's the, really the key, the secret oh, to this clam chowder. Is the base of the stock that Absolutely. you come up with. You know, and please understand, if you've had, uh, you know, soups in a diner or if you've had soups, uh, you know, in a, in a, in a, a cheapo restaurant, listen, what they're, in, they're putting basically fillers and they're putting this gelatinous mm -hmm. sort of base in there. No. And they add cream and, and the, they don't even add extra clams. They just utilize the clams that are in the base or they don't put fresh lobster. And when you, when you taste this and you see the difference and you, and you, you could see it. And I said last night when I, when I went home and I, I you know, I stole a, a quart of your stuff last night before I left. I'm like, you got to give me some. I haven't had it in a while. And I remembered why I love it so much because first of all, you get clam in every, in every bite. Mm -hmm. I also love the fact that what, what Roger's company does is you don't get big giant hunkin' chunks of potato. I don't want that in a soup. I love that everything, mm -hmm. when you look at it up close, every spoonful has clam in it. Every spoonful has very, very small potato. The ratio is, is not mostly potatoes and a few clams. Mm -hmm. You get clams in every single bite. Also, what I love about it, Roger, that you guys do, it's not like gooey paste. Oh, yeah. Why, no, no. why do people make they, their they, chowder they, so they do thick? It, they, it's for filler. It, yeah. it, they, they think it's the thicker the better, and it's not thicker the better. You just have to have the right consistency. Perfect. And it's sort of a cross between, you know, a broth and, a, and, and, and a, just a little bit of thickness. But oh, you, my gosh. Because <laughs> you have to carry the, little, the cream, and you have to carry a little bit of butter in it. That is so, because I, I haven't, I didn't get the bisque. They wouldn't let me steal that too. I, I only stole one <laughs> well, of the we'll clam chowder. We'll taste it today. But I am telling you, this consistency. Now, here's what I was talking about when I mm. said not too thick. That's how you want it. You mm. want it? See how it coats a spoon? 
that's what you want. Mm -hmm. If it stays on like a mayonnaise, that's not what you want because right. that, when you take something that thick, first of all, it's 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 probably an artificial thing. It coats, it coats your taste buds and it doesn't allow you to keep tasting fresh every time. You want it to, you want it to go down, you want, a, you want a little lingering flavor, but you don't want goo on the back of your tongue. Look at that chowder as you're stirring it up and look at the clams. I gotta go to the chowder now. This is the number one selling appetizer. In fact, if we if we took all the items oh that we sell in the restaurants, and we have a fair number, this is the number one selling item in all 32 restaurants yeah. from Boston down to Atlanta. Can you do it in a bread bowl for me? Would that be asking too much? Can, no, I, I, can no, I take this off and put we, it right we, in the bowl? We, we can do it right, right there, absolutely. Do the bread bowl for me. So and I, let me tell you, right now, <clears throat> we are extremely busy, and we are every time Roger's here, and this could sell out. I'm down to 500 left. You will thank me when you try this, and I want you to take it home, and I want you to try, you're gonna get two giant containers. I want you to try it. I swear to you, if you do not say this is the best soup you've ever had, return it. But I was in the restaurant business for 18 years. This guy's been doing it longer than I, and he's been doing it at a much more, like, a you deep to level. You're a lot older than you? No, no, we're about the same age. <laughs> we're about the same. What I'm saying is you spent more time yeah. just perfecting just, this. Just doing fish, I took fish, off and got into doing chowder, crazy TV absolutely. business and all that. But I will tell you that my foundation in the restaurant business, the reason I'm here is because I was in the restaurant business, because I was, you know, I, was a, I was a front of the house guy, host guy, and then I mm -hmm. finally got into this. So that's what launched me into it. But I'm telling you, that's the food. Both these, both the lobster bisque and the chowder, best I've ever had. And I've had some really, really good chowders because you know I told you I spent a lot of time in Boston. Right. I'm from Connecticut. Mm -hmm. I spent. Uh, my parents would take us uh, almost, uh, you know, four or five times a year up to up to Narragansett in Rhode Island. Uh -huh. And you know they got great seafood Absolutely. there. Absolutely, they're very, they're very proud of it. Absolutely. This knocks it out of the park. It is that good, and the price is worth every penny. We'll ship it to your house for free. Talk about the process because I know it's expensive to to package this and prepare it for yeah, shipping, yeah, right? Yeah, so, so it's, it's really getting that stock, combining the stock with the fresh clams, right. uh, getting the cream to the right consistency of it, a little bit of butter, a few secret ingredients, I can't tell you all the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And by the way, uh, if you want to put the, the bisque on uh, pasta. <laughs> absolutely. Let me just tell you. Your guests will think you spent hours on some special sauce. You know, it's it's kind of interesting because you really take the take the um, the bodies of the lobster and extract that meat yeah. out of it and get it into the base for this uh, bisque. A little bit of sherry, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's so a little, go ahead, go ahead. Here's go ahead. a key. Here's one of the things that we do up north is we take a little sherry, and they'll often serve yes. this right at your table. Mm -hmm. Put a little sherry in it, and it doesn't have to be fancy schmancy sherry. It could be right from the, the from the grocery store. Mix that in. Lobster from the North Atlantic is yeah. nice and sweet. It gives a, a great flavor. And, 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 and look, a lot of people like to have it uh, just in a bowl by itself. But it works as a, as a topping. You can put it on top of fish. You can put it on top of crab cakes. Let's put a little bit here. That on is top of a crab honestly cake. Honestly, right. And you know what? You too, as I said, Roger, it's not too heavy. It really isn't. And I mm -hmm. and I mean, I listen. The, I had a restaurant years ago. We would make a seafood chowder. Mm -hmm. It was very good, but it was it was basically a, a, there's a company named Lagu that makes like this processed kind of. It's a mm -hmm. decent starter, but we weren't grinding it. We weren't putting shells ah. in. We weren't doing all the work. You know, it was a northern Italian kind of an affordable place, and and we were charging. Uh, Seven ninety five for a cup of the bisque. Oh. Seven ninety five because it had seafood and all that stuff. It it it, it to do it right. It's expensive. It's time consuming. Mm -hmm. You really take slow roasting of the lobster bodies, mm. extracting the meat out of it. Uh, but it, oh at gosh. the end of the day, it just it, you, you taste and go wow. Yeah. This is this is it. This Let is me show it. everybody here again what you're going to get when you order. Okay, and I'm telling you, you want to. It's cold everywhere. It is. It was 33 degrees when I woke up this morning. 26 at, at, for me. 26 where you were. <laughs> up north, my brother lives in Connecticut. It was 16. Up in Vermont, where I'll be traveling in two weeks to ski, it was minus eight at the top. It's cold everywhere. This is comfort food and the best kind. And I'm not talking about, let, let me tell you, this is gourmet stuff, okay? This is really the top of the line. Whether you serve it on pasta or rice or you eat it on its own, a little bit goes a long way. We are going to give you, you get about, you get about, uh, probably about eight to 10 to 12 servings out of everything we're gonna give you with which if you go to a restaurant and you order a, a bisque, bisque is 11, 12, 95 for a small bowl. It's very expensive, especially lobster bisque. Chowder is expensive when you do it right. Get it home. We're going to go a little bit longer uh, on this. We're almost out of time, but if you want it, the shipping and handling is free. You'll either get two chowders, you get a bisque and a chowder, 
or you can do two of the best. Whatever you do, do it as quickly as you can, as I only have about 400 for everybody in the country, and I'm gonna order, I'm actually gonna order probably two of each, because I'm telling you, so good. And by the way, if you are worried about running out of it, we have it on auto ship. Uh, you can customize your auto ship, but right now we have it delivered every 60 days. So every mm -hmm. two months, mm -hmm. you'll get a fresh supply. Roger, keep doing what you're doing, well, my friend, because you, you are doing thank it you. so thank right. You. It's fantastic. Continue to order. Thanks so much for being here, Roger. Yeah, Great pleasure. job. Hey, quick reminder, our uh, Xylus uh, uh, Easy Prep Chopper is still available. If you'd like it, it's $22.95. And only $11.48 on uh, FlexPay, so take advantage of that as well. All right, we're moving on. We're gonna continue with uh, Fantastic Eats here, and we're gonna shift over to uh, Ips Chips. Uh, maybe you've seen Ips Chips here, or you've seen them out there. I will tell you, this product is absolutely yummy, crunchy, satisfying, and you get everything, all that great flavor, but you don't have the guilt. That's right. right? That's right. All right, and we've got uh, Adam uh, Kamenstein, uh, Stein, who's here with us. It's good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. I, I got to tell you, this product, I had it, I've had it before, but yesterday I had the sea salt and, uh, and pepper in my car as I was driving home, because I'm always hungry when yeah. I leave, and I'm like, this is so dang good. It's so delicious, and you'll never believe that none of this was ever fried. It has right. that texture. It has that taste. Uh, it's got that flavor. And, and honestly, it, you know, it's 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 a guilt-free chip. That's right. Really that is. was the point, really. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, first of all, it's got to taste delicious, and it does, right. right? Any snack, if it doesn't taste, start off by tasting great, then what's the point, right? right? Don't go beyond that. So first of all, the idea was to make a delicious chip. But the second point was make it guilt-free, right? Yeah. And how do we do that? It's not fried. Mm -hmm. It's half the fat of fried chips, but right. more important than anything, it's got six grams of protein. There's six grams of protein in every little bag. That's as much protein as in a large egg. Yeah, right. We're not used to, we never used to getting, thinking about protein when it comes to a protein snack like this, right? Normally you gotta get a protein bar, the calories are ridiculous. Or, and or, or you're stuck eating beef jerky or something yeah. like that. But if you want like a savory, salty, crispy, munchy yeah. treat, yeah. then you know where do you go? This is it. This has the, they have the consistency of really, really, really good pork rinds. Right. If you've ever had those, right. you know, yeah. and they're irresistible. The crunch, and then the, and then they disappear in your mouth, which I love. And we've got a whole bunch of different varieties too. And we should go go through that. Want to uh, take us through whatever all the uh, flavors we have today? Yeah, happy to. So. so. Um, we start over here with our sea salt and black pepper. And Unbelievable. Yeah, that's my favorite. Everyone's got their own favorite, yeah. right? But that happens to be mine also. And, and take a look at it. I mean, you can really see the black pepper yeah. in it. It's got a little so black spicy. pepper kick. It doesn't, yep. yeah. And then uh, if we move on over here, we've got our white cheddar, which tastes like a great artisanal white cheddar yeah. flavor, all natural. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've got a barbecue over here, delicious kind of backyard barbecue with a with a perfect balance. Oh, that's I think good. between between that. yeah between mm. sweet and tangy, you know, doesn't it tastes go, like real barbecue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does. It right? does. And uh, and then over here we've got a really interesting one. This is our cinnamon. Tastes like a churro. Have you had a churro before? Um, if I had a churro before. Yeah, it's, I it's, got a kid, so you know, we live at the churro bar. Wherever we go to Universal, that's where they want to go. Yeah. That's what it tastes like? Yeah, and, it, and oh, they're all... Exactly. And, and as you said, they're, you know, they're not like flat potato chips. They've no. got a thicker kind of, but light texture, puffy, crispy. They're very, they're very substantial, and I think that's the mouthfeel. You know, when you're creating any food, there's all these different steps that you go through. And when you're doing snacks especially, I think where a lot of uh, the healthier snacks miss the boat is in that mouthfeel and that crunch. Because I told you, I go to, there's a, I have, there's a health food store down the street from my house. And every time I go there, I'll try a different one of their chips or snacks. Most of them feel like they're either really, really grainy, yeah. uh, they're gritty, they don't have, they, they, they're not they're not seasoned well enough. They're always very light. And I'm like, and I always end up pouring salt on them, yeah. which is a waste of time. Um, but, but basically what they do is they put it together with the health thing first, and then they just say, and, we, and we'll try to make it taste good. You guys did taste up front. We came at it the other way around, yeah, right? Yeah. Because what happens is when you when you buy these things that are supposed to be healthy, they end up tasting t terrible. Yeah. Um, you know, all those things that you just so talked good. about, yeah. and you don't eat it. So what's the point, right? You've got to have a great tasting snack to begin with. I know. And then make it healthy. And so, you know, as you said earlier, it's gluten-free, it's half the fat of fried yeah. chips, non-GMO corn, all whole grain corn, you know, which is so important. Yeah. And every single bag, just one little bag has six grams That's, of protein. I, I've never heard of like a chip snack. Good, Shannon's coming. She heard, she heard snacks and chips and protein and she's all about that stuff. Anyway, 
Really quickly, I, um, Adam only brought in 1100 That's all we have right now. You get 24 bags, which is a great price, about a little over a buck a bag. Less than you'll you pay in the vending machine. That, that uh, health food stars, they're like three fifty for a bag, uh, yeah. a little single-serving bag of chips. You know, like the kale chips and all stuff. It's like, listen, I love kale. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice, healthy thing. But... It's kind of overboard when I'm going to be start eating kale chips in addition to kale salad and all the rest of this and stuff. And you're paying three something, three dollars. Yeah, because it's expensive. You know, it's expensive. Right. The process. What Adam has done is he's he's refined it so that it's affordable for you too. So you don't have to be rich to be healthy. We were just talking about that. We were talking to Grace about you know being healthy and how much I, money you have to spend to be healthy. But well, and this also. Is, Usually how gross it Shannon is Adam to be right, healthy. Hi, Adam. Yes, yeah, hi, yeah. Nice to see you again. Um, yeah, but I did only come out for the chips. I mean, to be honest. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. We have a few. If they're not delicious, then it doesn't matter how healthy they are, right? Like, it, it has to, it has to, yeah, you won't it eat has it to quench it's... that craving. Like, we, yeah. we want something that's, that's crispy and crunchy, and that's why we end up snacking on a whole bag of chips. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side, you know, so oh. often... Sorry. Which one you get? Which one I'm did totally you get? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> That is really good. Is that, is that cheese? The cheddar? Cheddar. Yeah. Oh my yeah, I know. gosh. White cheddar, isn't that great? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Half the calories. Yeah, half well, the fat. Half, no, the, half fat, the fat. Half the fat. Well, and and six to... grams of protein. Three times the yeah. protein that you would find. Three to four times the protein that you would find in another bag of chips. I can eat a bag of chips instead of eating an egg. Well, that, yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. There's six okay. grams of protein in a large egg, six grams in a bag. You nailed it. But, you know, here's the thing. How often do we see a bag of chips and we want it, but really we don't good. do it because we know it's just not good for us, right? right. So this right. is kind of like our license to munch yeah. when normally we, we'll kind of like stop ourselves. Sure. And it's so great for so many occasions. You had a bag in your car, you said. I Keep a it. bag in your car. I like 10 Annoying. seconds. Keep, I was dumping it down my throat. Keep as it I'm in your desk it. drawer. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Here's a great tip, okay? I've got kids, 11-year-old twins, okay? It's so hard to get them to eat anything, right? right. But a bag of chips is There's easy. Easy peasy, uh, right? Yeah. I put this in their lunch bag, and I know they've gotten a large egg's worth of protein. Right. Yeah. So if they you come home better. and their tuna fish sandwich isn't touched, right. I still know that they've gotten a, a <laughs> large egg's worth of protein. Adam, they'll eat it. That's, the bottom That's line the point. is they'll eat it. If I put kale chips in front of Danny, I, they'd oh stay God. in front of Danny, and he'd never actually eat them. But if you put like a crunchy chip that has a good amount of, of uh, flavor to it mm -hmm. and has a little bit of a salt kick, because we all love that, we crave it, but it doesn't have all the fat. It doesn't have all the bad stuff that you don't want in a chip. You know, that addictive, like I gotta eat 4,000 of them. These are actually inside that bag. You get a lot of it because you're pumped You do. Up. You absolutely you do. got, you got all the flavor, like that sea salt and black pepper. That's my favorite. Delish, but then the barbecue, I, I can't pick a favorite. So well, you don't have to pick a favorite because you, you have the variety. Have you had yeah, a guilt-free churro yet? Yeah. Kind of yeah, and exactly. you basically have a month's worth of snacks here because you're getting, what, a pack wow. of 24? Yeah. So yeah. It's, a, it's a month worth of snacks. If you're packing lunch for yourself or your kids or somebody sure. else's, you've got a month worth of snacks here mm. for, for, what is it, 20, 29 A little over a dollar a bag. That's no less free than, shipping. That's less than even if you go to the, you know, the, the vending the machine. The vending machine. Oh it's going to be yeah. $2.50 a bag right. for the horrible fat. And one of the things that all the nutritionists will tell you, dietitians, anybody who's telling you, you know, if you want to slim down for 2018, Protein is what keeps you full. Right, it so satiates. A bag, right? Yeah. A bag of chips, you're eating a bag. The reason you keep eating to the bottom of the bag, empty even if carbs. it's a big bag, yeah. it's empty. It's not doing anything for you. With well, the no, protein, exactly right. you actually end up more full. That's exactly right. It satisfies you. Protein yeah. satisfies. So you eat a bag and you're satisfied with you know high quality protein. And by the way, it's whey protein, which is in the highest quality whey protein, which is the most bioavailable form of protein. And what I mean by that is when you eat whey protein, you're your body can utilize pretty much every ounce of what yeah. it eats, as opposed to other proteins right. where, you know, half of it is just kind of wasted by your body. Sure. Right. Yeah. Okay, I just have to say, I, I listen to you talk and I understand the science of what goes into it and the, the reason why, and then I mm. taste them and I'm like, okay, these are just delicious. <laughs> these are chips that you would snack on whether they had any health benefits or not, whether they yeah, had protein in them or not. It tastes like honest, junk food. It tastes <laughs> like junk food. You really, you cracked yeah. that code where, we like junk food because it feels like it treats us. It's a little bit naughty. We uh, we get those cravings. Our body gets those cravings for that junk food, and nothing will satisfy it but junk food. But this, <clears throat> this it, has, it has better. the same satisfaction <clears throat> and the same crunch and the same flavor as the junk food. You won't miss that. Well, you know what it really jumps out at me too is is oh, the good. big crunchy texture in your mouth because you know the yeah. you know the chips that are served in cylinders. We all know them. Hey, mm -hmm. great idea. They're paper thin. You got to eat twelve of them at a time right, to get that crunchy feeling in your mouth. You put two of these in your mouth and you're like, man, you're having a, it's a party in there. It's a party in your mouth. Totally. It's a party. <laughs> and you I know, love it. also one other point I want to add, oh, I only eat. one gram of sugar in these, I think two in these other bags. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, we're obviously, we have a lot of pre-diabetic diabetic. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Low you know, love them. Great job. Them. Thank you, Adam. Thanks Stick so around. Much. We got more coming up. Here's some uh, info on serious skincare. The serious skincare woman is every woman. We have something for everyone. The A Defiance line is for those women out there who have lines and wrinkles. If you're not using A Defiance, you're not doing everything you can for your skin. Our vitamin C line has plasma technology for even brighter, younger looking skin. If you're over 40, it's an absolute must. The glycolic line is for anyone that wants to renew their skin. So if you want to retexturize your skin, try our glycolic line. If you're looking for better skin, you will get it with serious skincare. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm still, I'm still on a high from that chowder. I know that's what you were saying. Oh my lord, that stuff is just unbelievable. <laughs> ah, hi I everybody. missed the first half. I oh, the I guess, chowder chips. Yeah, you got it. We got to get you some of that. <laughs> anyway, Tracy Rose is here with us, and I will tell you, uh, when it comes to getting your kitchen tricked out uh, for holiday or any other time of year, this is one of the smartest decisions you can ever make to pick up. It comes to us from Origami. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> origami, probably across the board, the Origami category gets more five stars than I think anything here at HSN. Safety. Why? Because everything is built so well. It's so smart. It's so easy. You don't have to put anything together. It all comes in the box. You open it up like Tracy just did, and you're good to go. You put your drawers in, and instantly you've got a you've got a multi shelf cabinet and prep station, and you only spend $109. By the way, that discounted price is not going to last. It's $20 off today. It's free shipping, and there's no such thing as free shipping. Everybody has to pay shipping. We don't have we don't own the trucks. We don't drive them. We have to pay those guys for you, which we'll do on this one. And $21.99 gets it home on FlexPay. We only have a we have $1,100. Now I only have, no, I have about 1,000. 1,000 to go around for everybody. 400 people already picked it up, so I had 1,400 to start on the visit. If you don't get this, you're crazy, because I'm telling you, you can utilize this in so many ways. You can use it, obviously, in the kitchen for your prep area. You can use it in the laundry room. It's ideal for folding clothes and storing things underneath. You could put this in your bath area to store your towels and your hand towels and your washcloths and your soaps and all that stuff. You can use it as a barbecue cart, which I love. You've got that beautiful uh, wood grain top on the top, and then you have four beautiful shelves below. Yeah. And uh, like all other origami products, when you order it, this is how it comes. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, how how many days has it, have you wasted putting together furniture oh or God. hired somebody or gotten in an oh argument with somebody because you asked somebody to help you out? This is how it comes. Flat pack to your house. The wheels are not on. You decide whether you want the wheels or not. You literally open it up. We don't even have our famous origami clasp here. You know, nah, you, you this just, just the locks top in. On. The top is already attached right there. You just line up the pegs, There's two pegs. with the little holes right there, and then you start putting the drawers in. And this is what I love about this system. This is our largest drawer system. The capacity on these are ridiculous. Check out how big these are. These are all steel, so super strong. You've got the nice, easy handle right here. The fact that they come all the way out and you can take them out and, and you know carry whatever you need in this is huge. But here's the deal. They're all the same size. So when you slide them in, there are no wheels, there's no tracks, there's no guessing game like which drawer goes where? Do the big ones? They're all the same size. So it takes takes all of the guesswork out. Each one of these drawers is gonna hold 15 pounds worth of that. weight and still slide in and out nice and easy. Think of the other stuff out there, comparison wise, a four drawer system. You would have plastic, like that murky plastic, it's you know, cheapo, those, yeah. or particle board. You would never put together a part of particle board drawer system and then re, you know, break it back down. But this you can, you know, one fun thing about these are all of these drawers will nest. 
So if you do need to fold it down and store it, it's literally like storing one drawer and then just a couple inches there. This is that gorgeous bronze. Yeah, right? and, we, and by the way, we finally got the colors back because I know uh -huh. uh, Tracy disappeared with this for a while because we only had like one color left and we we're like, we need to get them all back. They finally came in. So uh, we have it in this brown color. Right. What are we calling it? Vintage bronze. Vintage bronze, mm -hmm. love that. Yes. It also comes in this beautiful red. Yes. It comes in our... Silver. Uh, silver, we're calling mm -hmm. that. It's kind of a silver gray color. And then there's the vintage bronze again. Yeah. So we do have we do have all the colors available right now. Right. Uh, when you order, remember, you only have to come up with the first payment. It's $21.99. And honestly, you can do anything with these. I mean, I, I, like, you know, originally we, we call it the kitchen cart, but there's so many other uses that you could use this for in addition to that. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, th I think um, immediately the bathroom, because I've got so much yeah. stuff in there. You know, I have so much stuff slammed in the in the drawers there. But this, I could I can see everything. You know, you can put your lotion, your potion. It doesn't matter if it gets, you know, if it drips a little bit or or it, it gets wet. You know, it's hard to find something to put in the bathroom because you can't put particle board because it'll break down because right. of the heat and humidity. Yeah. You don't want that plastic because, you know, heaven forbid you put a curling iron or a straightener in there that yeah. hasn't cooled off all the way. Plastic warps after time exactly. anyway. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so you want that steel. You want that wood. <clears> you <throat> want that, um, the strength. But you could put everything in here. You could put all of your hair products. You can put all of your lotions, your serums, whatever. Your brushes, your curling irons, your rollers. Everything yeah. that you need can go. Toilet paper, all of the essentials. For, for a kid's room, you could put their TV yes. on top or their Xbox on top. And you could put the tapes and the yeah. DVDs and all that stuff you can put in the shelves. It's a great basket for kids for laundry. It's a great great yeah. uh, uh, um, shelf to put their clothes in. The nice thing is they can see everything, too. Right. You can actually see your clothes because they're tr you can see through them. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, which I like, too, because they have, like, a mesh finish on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's also very important when you're uh, doing things, putting in th <clears throat> things in there, like storing fruits and vegetables because they need that air to kind of circulate Absolutely. around. Absolutely. And, you know, it's going to keep it fresher longer, too. Yeah. I mean, so we talk about this one because we love the capacity in this. And this is a perfect example of how much stuff you can put in there. So, obviously, we have the fruits and the vegetables and stuff but think of you know think of these as toys think of this these could be toys this could be all of your crafting right. needs but if you're a juicer if you're somebody who has you know gone out and bought all of these fresh fruits and vegetables yeah, you buy in bulk exactly right? you know so now you have a place to store it and instead of taking up like a big bowl on your, yeah on right? your countertop now everything's going to stay fresher longer it's aerating mm -hmm. and then you know nothing I like to do <clears throat> like nothing falls through this mesh because they're it's so fine right. stuff like you have onions with the skin on it. Sure. You know, it's not going to cause it. It's, it's going to hold You everything. could put your big sacks of flour. You can, Anything yep. that you need. And don't be afraid to put stuff in here that's heavy. Because this is a heavy-duty um, um, rack. They, they, the way they make this out of stainless mm -hmm. steel, it's not plastic where it's going to bow or it's going to start to lean to one side. It's not going to do that for you. Yet, um, it's sturdy and it's, and it's durable. Yet, we put it on wheels, and, and Tracy's showing you that, so that you can move it. Because yeah. sometimes you want to move something out to clean behind it or you just want to move it into another room. I, we, you know, at Thanksgiving time, we use ours to put the turkey on. Of course. On. And we'll put the turkey on top, and then you can put whatever extra stuff you want to put underneath. But it's ideal as, as a prep area. Mm -hmm. The kids can do that, can make cookies on it. 100%. You know, put a, put a, a little board on it or a piece of yeah. uh, plastic wrap or whatever on top if you don't want it to get messy. Yeah. That's all you need to do. And that top one will hold, you know, 40 pounds worth of weight. So, again, substantial and strong there. So that's one of the things that we love about it. But it's about clearing up your countertops. It's about getting organized. It's about having a place for everything. I mean, even to the simple things is the dog leash, the bags, the treats, all of that stuff, you know, it gets lost in the shuffle. So yeah. now it gives it a home and everything there. But strong enough for those big appliances, those mixers, those pressure cookers, yeah. all of that. Microwave. It, microwave. Throw it on there. Clear, clear out the, look at those countertops are very expensive right there. Yeah. It's supposed to be a workstation and part of your design. Ooh, portable island kitchen? It is a portable <laughs> island. And how much would you pay oh to gosh. have an, an island installed? You know? I couldn't, you know what, I couldn't do it because there's no room. But right. if I could, yeah, it's you're talking thousands exactly. of dollars to have that thing put in. Exactly. You can get this for $109.95 today with free shipping and handling. It's $18.95 to ship. When you open the box, you simply unfold it, clank the top on, and you're good to go. There's no construction or work or tools needed. You don't need any of that. They give you a little teeny wrench that actually will tighten the wheels on when you put the wheels on. That's all you need to do. If you don't want to put the wheels on, you don't have to. If you want it to be permanent storage, that's fine. Tracy's showing you right now. Look, yeah. with, this is like our little 
little kitchen work center. It is. Everything right? is at your got fingertips. Your microwave. You've got your microwave. And remember, now this is movable. So, you know, if you want your mic, you would never pick up your microwave and move it to a different Dude, part of the pots counter. And pans. Everything. Look at the amount of space that we have in here. We've got, Whoa. you know, the pots and pans right here, and there's You're, still so much more room I have here. No, you know what I do, like every other person out there, like mm. a, a total jack, mm. is I put all my bakeware in the oven. And I hate that because then I gotta, every, yeah, well, I'm not well, using yeah. it, I just leave it in there. Yeah. But the problem is every time I wanna cook something, I gotta take all that crap out and I gotta I put know. stuff back and in. I know, and then it, 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 if you're entertaining, it it's totally clutter, clutters up everything. But here, here's the other thing too. If, when you put this away, like say they are a little damp, you don't yeah. have to worry about this because this is no. that powder coated steel. So it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna chip, it's not gonna corrode. So let's say if you're using this for, you wanna put your sponges where you clean, sure, you know, sure, sure, all yeah. that, you don't right. have to worry about it. This nope. is steel. And wood. And again, each one holds 15 pounds worth of weight. So you can really load these yeah. down with stuff and it's still going to glide in and out and so guess nice what? and easily. I'm not making a bunt cake if I don't see the bunt pan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Don't out get me sight, wrong. Out of mind. I like a nice bunt right. cake, but, unless, but I, I, it's one of those things like when you clean out your shelves, you're like, when's the last time I made a bunt cake? Exactly. I haven't seen. You see everything, so you know mm -hmm. where everything is. You're not going to go nuts. And I will tell right. you, on some of my counters, I have stuff that's so far in the back, I would never see it. I agree. I think I have, a, I have an electric can opener. I probably haven't used it in 17 mm -hmm. years. Waffle I mean, makers, because it's just in the all back. that stuff. Yeah, know, we, have, we have the same situation yep. in our house. And I, but I don't want it on the counter, so that's why it ends up in the yes. in the cabinet. Okay, coffee station, perfect example of you know if you have an office, if you coffee takes up so much space yeah. because you need the coffee maker. Yeah. You've got the condom. You know the the Right. Um, condiments, you were, do they call Creamer, them sugar, or creamer, all that sugar. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you need the mugs. Okay, so where this takes up storage space. Filters sometimes on some of the coffee makers. What about all those pods that we need? You know, right. they need a home. <laughs> they do. Now you got all your teas, you know, everything mm. that you need is now a complete station. And there you go. Everything is at your fingertips. And then it's mobile. That's well, yeah, yeah, what yeah. I love too. Right. So now your whole coffee <clears throat> station can be in the kitchen. Then if it's a gorgeous morning. Dining room or outside, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. if this is a bar. Okay, let me just tell you, you can get uh, four bottles of, of wine in each one of these drawers and it still slides out nice and easy. She's, she's not guessing. <laughs> I'm just she saying, knows. in case you want it as a bar, <laughs> you know, you can you can put like a big. Uh, it it, <laughs> wear, it wears a lot of hats, this it thing. Does. It really does. And it it's does. very, very adaptable. We get a lot of people also that run like offices and things like that. And they buy these things for that exact reason because <clears throat> it becomes either a little work center, it becomes a little storage center, mm -hmm. it becomes a little serving center. It's so many different things. And also, <clears throat> what I love about it is when you get it home, like we said, there's no, you don't have to put anything together. And I love, what Tracy's gonna show you too in a sec is the way they made these drawers too. They didn't yeah. make them on wheels which I'm really glad because those little wheel tracks always oh, yeah. fall apart. Mm -hmm. This is basically a slot, a solid steel yep. slot, and solid steel goes in and out of it. There's That's nothing it. to roll, nothing to break, no springs. Mm -hmm. they, they made it so you're not gonna ever have to repair it. Exactly, right? and it's steel and wood. You can't find two better things no. to, make, to make something out of, especially furniture. This yeah. is furniture. And listen, organization doesn't have to be ugly. It doesn't need to be made of plastic. It doesn't need to be made of particle board. You know, we just need to find a place for our stuff. And this is that perfect solution. But without the headache, without the headache of going to the store, bringing home a big box that has a million different pieces in it. You know, this literally comes flat packed. You decide if you want the wheels on. Again, the top is already on. You, you fold it over. And then it's just about putting the drawers in and yeah. getting organized. And they slide in and out so you know, nice easy. and easily. I know. Just like this. Now, a lot of times, the drawers don't come all the way out. Right. I love the feature of this. Sure. So, you know, if you had, you know, uh, if there were a big thing of potatoes or onions and you just wanted to bring the whole drawer system out and take yep. it to your cutting station, you know, this allows I, you to do so. I, we get more people, and honestly, I, you know, and it, I think the only other, uh, the other big thing that people use it for, as we said, outside of the kitchen is people use it for laundry. Again, mm -hmm. I can't emphasize that enough because you have enough area up top to fold clothes, right. which, which we love because otherwise you're probably using an ironing board or using the kitchen table. You have an area where you can fold clothes. You can put stuff in like, I mean, do you have a, a adequate places for all your extra linens and your towels? hand towels, bath towels, or what about your beach towels that you need to store away? You've got you've got permanent storage on here that you need, or seasonal storage. When you want to use that, utilize it for that. But you could put your iron in there, your dryer sheets, your, your uh, detergent, all this stuff, your Nellies, whatever it is you
you use. Your little dryer balls will fit in there. Right. Nice. You can put a whole bunch of them in there. Yeah, you can. Um, so, so honestly, it becomes, like I said, a universal workstation. It adapts to any room you put it in. Right. And here's another fun fact. Because it's that perfect height, that counter level height that we're showing right there, it's easy transition. If you are prepping in one place and bring you know, it over to, the, to your cart. Here's the other thing. If you have hanging clothes in your closet, this is going to fall or, you know, go perfectly underneath those clothes. Sure. Both of my daughters, they don't have dressers anymore. They right. have these in their closets, this one, and it's now their drawer system. So they have more room in their bedroom. Tracy, you, you can know? use this for shoes. Yes. Remember, yes, good can. for shoes because it keeps them covered so they're not going to get a bunch of dust and funk on them. But at the same time, they breathe and we need our shoes to breathe because they're on our stinky feet all day. So right. we want to make sure if you got kids, you know what I'm talking about, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Back to the beginning, we only have about 90 seconds total in the hour, only about a minute left to spend on this, but it's a great little mini pantry too, of right? Of course, of course. You can put all, you know, your, your canned goods, you can put your spices, you yeah. can put everything. Now, I want to do the colors real fast again. All right, you know one what? more time. So here's that gorgeous red. Uh, and take a look, can we get a shot up top here of how gorgeous the wood is? I have 175 in the red, okay. that's it. Makes sense. Number one accent color in the kitchen. Look at how beautiful that is right there with that beautiful wood grain, and then you've got the wonderful powder-coated steel red. All right, we've got silver over here with a light oak and then our vintage bronze right here with kind of a I like walnut that. finish. I like this color. Yeah, This me too. brown is really, this really nice. Have, this is very rich. It has little specks of gold in there once you get it home. So if you yeah. have darker cabinets or darker hardwood floors, this uh, is going to match perfectly. And they all have the little laminate uh, wood grain top Absolutely. on top. So they're, look, they're nice to look at as well. Mm -hmm. Tracy, great job as always. I always Thank love showing friend. origami. And by the way, if you don't want to listen to me, look at the gold stars on top of the item number there. <laughs> More customer pick reviews on origami than I think that any other category. People love it. Thank you again, my dear. Thank Good you, job. Man. Hey, I want to remind you, we are getting low. Uh, my my uh, producer Kyle says the clam and lobster combo is almost gone. So if you want to get a two a quart pack of the uh, of the combination, you better order right now. You got to try that, Tracy. I'm, I'm telling going you. to. Unbelievable. So that soup is so good. All right. I'm going to go finish the bowl of soup I started and I'm going to hand things over to the lovely Shannon who's going to take you through our second hour of HSN Today.